Thanks, Speaker. I'll be brief in my remarks to make sure that we get to have the division commence before 10 o'clock. What's in front of us now is a scheme that both sides of politics voted for in the House of Representatives. So when we hear those opposites saying, as I can predict they will in a minute, uh, that somehow there's, this is whether or not the program happens, in the House of Reps both sides have already voted for the program to occur. In the Senate, after these amendments went through, both sides of politics, including the government, voted for the bill in its amended form. So the government's already voted for the bill, including these amendments, in the Senate. They've already done that. Now, today, the only question in front of us is whether or not the amendments should be part of the bill. That is the only question in front of us, and it will be the only question in front of the Senate as well. And what do those amendments mean? Here's what they mean. If you're a worker, maybe in your late 30s, early 40s, and who are these workers? A lot of them are people with families. They're all people who've been ineligible for JobKeeper. So you've made it all the way through the pandemic without a wage subsidy. You've turned up for work during the pandemic without any additional support from the government. And now the government is changing the rules so that other workers will be cheaper than you. And all we're saying is those workers shouldn't have their wages cut, their hours cut or lose their jobs as a result. And the government's wanting to argue, oh no, no, you need to keep that flexibility in the Act. This has a real impact on working families, on older workers, as we head into Christmas. The government right now is making a deliberate decision to keep a loophole in the Act to take away job security as we head into Christmas. The government is making a deliberate decision by how they are about to vote to make sure that as we head into Christmas, workers who have had no support during this pandemic have simply turned up for work every day are going to allow, be allowed to face either losing your job altogether or having your hours cut because other workers are cheaper. Now, if you believe that loophole should be there, if you believe that job security should be lost, then vote with the government when the bells ring. But if you believe for those workers who've made it all the way through this pandemic that they should not have their job security put at risk, then you need to vote no.